Hey everyone, uh, today I'm just going to do a real quick video on how to create pins. pins. Um, this will be specifically for print on demand businesses. So if you have a shop on Etsy or maybe you have merch by Amazon or any print on demand platform, Shopify, anything, um, this will be how to create pins for your t-shirts. You can see a couple pins I did over here. So a first step is just to create a mock-up. And a mock-up is just your t-shirt displayed either on a table or um, hanging up, or it could be where somebody is wearing the shirt. Um, and all of those different ways work. So it just depends on your particular business and, and what you would like your pin to be about. Um, I, I've done both options where it's a flat lay, meaning that the shirt is displayed on a table or on a background, and then um, you know maybe different objects around it that go with the shirt. And then I've also done mock-ups where someone is wearing the shirt. So I'll show you both options here. And both of them work and place it has both of them. So that's the first place I would try. Um, is placeit.net. You can also find mockups on Etsy and you can find mockups. Um, several people in our community have started creating mockups. So that's another, another place that you can get it. Um, so these are just a couple examples that I did using Placeit, just so you can get an idea of what the models would look like and, and um, what what options you have. So the one on the left was uh, for engagement t-shirts. So it's nice because you can kind of, someone who sees this pin, they'll be able to see like picture themselves and picture it for their engagement photos. So you show people having their engagement photos taken wearing those t-shirts. So um, that in, in that case, I thought it would look better to have a model wearing it so that the person could really picture what it's going to look like. Um, and then on the right, this is holiday ones. Holiday ones, it's nice to have a holiday mock-up that goes along with the shirt. So in this case, it's a uh, Christmas design. So I picked a mock-up that had a person with presents and Christmas colors. Once you make the mock-up, that's one step, and you can just share it directly to Pinterest just like that, just like the pictures you saw on the previous screen. Um, but it's really helpful if you can take one more step and either add some text to the pictures or use Pinterest templates. So it's starting to become more and more common where there's a lot of apps and a lot of places that really help with creating pins. So Placeit themselves um, has templates. So you could just stick with Placeit and use the templates over there. Um, you also can use Over, you can use Canva. There's a lot of, a lot of options. I tend to use over just because that's usually what I use to design the t-shirts in the first place. So I'm used to being on over. Um, so they have some uh, Pinterest templates that I like using. So these are two examples of templates that I used from over. Um, and here, let me move my little face out of the way. Um, the, the one on the left is engagement photos and so I just put engagement photo t-shirts so that the person knows that this is supposed to be used for engagement photos. And um, it's, it's cute. It, it, it just is clear, easy to see the t-shirts, easy to see what it's about and what the purpose of the shirt is for. And then the one on the right is um, a little bit different. So this is it's not a model wearing the shirt, but it's, it's them looking at the shirt in a store setting. So it's just another another type of mock-up. Um, and then, you know, you could just add some words at the bottom. So these look a little bit nicer than just the mock-up by itself. Just that one extra step of adding a couple words. It just makes it look a little bit more professional. Um, and you want to make sure that the pins are long like this. So you can see how they are tall and, um, you know, that uh, portrait 
you know, like the long ways instead of horizontal. You don't want horizontal like landscape mode. You, you don't want that. You don't want square. So square images that you use for Instagram, that's really the wrong shape. For Pinterest, it needs to be vertical. It needs to be longer pins. Um, so this size, this size right here works well. And then back to the mock-ups. So I was explaining how you can purchase mock-ups other places too. It doesn't have to be place it. So Etsy, um, I'm about to show ones that I got from Monty Whirl and also from Deanna Balistra. So the one on the left was from Monty. So this was a St. Patrick's Day design. It's real easy because you just have the background and then you can just add your shirt um, and you can keep changing it out. So all your different St. Patrick's Day shirts, you can put each one on there and save it. And then the one on the right was from Deanna. Deanna has a company that uh, specializes in Pinterest and also in Instagram. So she is really great with making mock-ups and also can run your social media for you if you want. So if you don't want to make your own pins and you don't want to deal with it, uh, Deanna can do the whole thing for you if you want to. So this is one where she, that she made for me. It's a shirt about social media. So she, she put it all together like a whole outfit. Both of these did that. And that's really helpful because it can, the person can really picture how it's going to look as a whole cohesive outfit. And a lot of people go to Pinterest specifically to look for outfit ideas and, um, you know, just different, different ideas. I mean, the whole point of Pinterest is for, I, collecting different ideas and, and um, creating different boards to inspire you. So these do that perfectly. And then once you do that, so you have your mock-up, you have your template, you put it all together, you have the pin. The next step is to do the title and the description. Um, I use Merch by Amazon and I tend to just use the title I did on Merch and the description I did on Merch. Um, it's completely up to you. You can switch it up if you want. You just want to make sure there's some good keywords in the title. And it's helpful if you include who the item is for. So, you know, if it's for a soccer mom, you want to put soccer mom in there. Or if it's for, um, you know, a little girl or something, you, you put who it's for. And then in the description, again, just make sure there's good keywords in there. Make sure the person knows exactly who it's a good gift for, exactly um, who who this is for, who would enjoy it. A lot of times people are shopping on Pinterest. They're looking for gifts. They're looking for ideas of, you know, people that might be a little bit hard to shop for. So if you explain who is going to enjoy this shirt, it'll come up in their searches and it'll it'll really help the buyer. And then another thing you can add in the description is hashtags. So I haven't used hashtags in my merch listings, but I do use hashtags on Pinterest. So once I copy and paste the description from my merch shirt, then I will add a couple hashtags. Um, I don't know if there's a good rule of thumb of exactly how many hashtags to use. Um, hashtags is still fairly recent for Pinterest. Um, I tend to use about three, so I think that's uh, that's a good amount. I mean, you could try a few more, but you don't want to go too crazy with it. And Pinterest doesn't like things to be too spammy, so maybe like two or three is good. And then these are some examples of ideas. So if it's a holiday T-shirt, you definitely want to have a hashtag that involves that holiday. And then if it has to do with some kind of upcoming event or just an event in general, like maybe it has to do with a baby shower or an engagement or something like that, you would do a hashtag related to that. And then also location. Sometimes your shirt might have to do with a specific city or a specific state. Look for hashtags in that location. Um, and another thing I like to do is I pick one hashtag that seems obvious to me and then I type that into Pinterest and see what kind of shirts come up. And then based on that, look at those pins and see what other hashtags people are using. Because oftentimes there's um, a few other pin, uh, other hashtags that you can come up with based on the pins that are already on Pinterest. 
So I hope that helps. I know this is super short, but just if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments and I will answer them. And then I'll do a follow-up video if there's anything that I left out here. All right, thanks guys. Have a great day.